I did not know that portions of the old Highland Park scene Mistaken when I was in high school in the 1970s, this was the magnificent library where my studies of black history and culture began in earnest. I can hear behind me voices of people inside. Let me see if I can figure out how to get in. What do we have here? Was a meet and greet at one time when they yeah. first came. I didn't come. About, um, I remember that. Was that one, 86? Yeah. They had a ceremony honoring one of Malcolm X's brothers in here. Around the time the Spike Lee's movie on Malcolm X came out. Oh my goodness. Right on the stage. Brother Abdulaziz Omar, known as Philbert X. Class to do research in here. I used to work in here because I was bad. Sandy, you worked in here? Yeah, this was one of my classes, working library. What did, you, what did they make you do? Well, I would check out books and stuff. Do you remember the names of any of the librarians? Esther Bauer. Yes, Miss Bauer. They were late catching up with the Black Studies movement, but when they did, they caught up with it with a vengeance and did a magnificent job. But what we're looking at now is different than what I remember in 74 to 70, 75 to 77, because it's been cut up into smaller rooms. When you were here, this wasn't subdivided up like this, was it? It was one large room. Yes, it was, and it had bookshelves and... I don't know. You get ready to go down the stairs. Wait until you get back. Because you're on the roof. Well, we, we're not only on the roof. Wait until you peek around that little corner over there. Right. You see the whole damn city. Oh, no. I, can't. I know. That's what I'm saying. You ain't going nowhere. Let's look. So, so you yeah, I'm already. ready. So you got your piece of a pencil sharpener. Oh, yes, I do. I got a souvenir. Oh, yeah. yeah. When the last time you had this kind yeah, of Yeah, I got souvenir. Yeah, it's in Boston. OK. Oh, the city you grew up in. Coming up Otherwise, I'd say throw it away. Oh, no, no, over there. No, this is your lady, Otherwise, I'd say throw it away. Where does the boss to keep it? Nah, Who's that over there? Uh, D.O.H.? Oh, oh, no, D.O.H. Oh, D.O.H. That way, right here. I used to work here. <laughs> Yeah, I like that a lot. And grandma's in there too. <laughs> okay. But you know, she, you know she wasn't my grandma. I didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, she was, uh, she, Fran was grandma's third wife. You. This entire adult wife. SP. When y'all come yeah. back Dr. Down, Bergman. don't lock that door, just close it up. Cause okay. In case we get another walk. Bill, is this the absolute last time I get a chance to come over here? Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's going to be saved, yeah. But he but he's not planning on using this as a theater, you know, which which makes no sense to me. It had, Look at this. See, it had it. Estes has a has a 13 bat and fly system in good condition. What's that bat and fly system? You you know the you know those those bats those, those Oh yes. Ones, yeah, they can go up and down. Yes. Yes. There's there's 13 of them and the system is in good condition. We had a group. You didn't think there was anything in good condition. There was a high school group used to perform here called the Citations. Yeah. You remember that? No. <laughs> 74, 75. Oh my God. And my perch to show Bruce Lee movies was right here. Video <laughs> for the old WHPR. So Greg Benjamin told you what happened to the old reel to reels? The, or were they cassettes? That the, the, they, uh, that, that they recorded hip hop over. Here's the old sound booth. I came in here with Chucky Bush in 1977, I think. We also opened up the one in the new high school on oh, Woodward. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Yeah, he lived right down the street from you. Right down the street. Yeah. Can, you, can you can you hit the light here, please? I was at 150. Still am. He was at 138. Oh my God! Is Greg Benjamin still around? Yeah. Can't believe all this stuff is still here. Yeah, he he attended one of our board meetings last year. 
Well, petition here. This office was deeper than this. This is also where they used to keep the yearbooks. Oh, yeah. Audio visual. My goodness. Main office. Watch your boards out on the floor. I, I, this one here has some nails sticking out of it. Okay. Sandy? What brought you up here today, sweetheart? Highway <laughs> Park. <laughs> but why was it important for you to come here today? I, I'm into history myself. And a lot of my family members graduated from here. A few of them anyway. Somewhere in House of Land, you see the... This is all that's left of this beautiful tapestry. And you took the light down here? that was made in the early 1970s by students at Highland Park Community College. The main reason I came up in here, is Kano, Nigeria? Can you give it here? What? Kano, Nigeria, and these are houses. You can tell because they're Muslims. Look at this magnificent painting. About an hour. These are records of Highland Park students left to the elements, allowed to rot. I pray that somebody recovers these. Another room full of records. This is a crime. This is a crime. Um, remember who, who wrote that book, Quint to Pope? Do you remember? Um, War Churchill did one, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm up here talking, talking about how they can block off areas with trains and, you know, Starve us out, poison the, poison the water, etc. Now I'm looking at the clock. That clock was just moving slow, slow, slow. What was the occasion that you were speaking here, Tito? Uh, it was probably a um, uh, a Black Studies event, Black History. Yes. Black History Month. I remember by the time I walked up say, I said, "Oh man, that was the worst speech I ever did." I remember your brother Sudi said, uh, "Yeah, just introduce me. I'll finish speaking. I'll finish speaking." <laughs> you never know, brother. You might open some minds. So. I always think about that speech. Anytime I speak through the day, I make sure I got what I got to say down packed so I can make sure I keep on talking just right. Like I got smoke at this beer. Um, I was fighting for first chair, and I was third. I was always complaining. I said, look here, I was glad that I became the um, vice president and president. I said, McWhite, it's yours. I'm over the whole band. And I thought I switched and went to the tuba. Anyway, back here you got all your. Uh, this was Hadley's office back here. When I first came here with my brother Peter in the late 60s, and Mr. Barron was here. Yeah, because my brother was in band with him. Then Hadley came in, and that's what Didn't we David had. Didn't David play here uh, also? And Lisa. Yeah. I don't she know was, if Sunny did. Choir, Lisa not played. Not the choir. She was in Lisa the, played uh, violin. Orchestra. orchestra. I don't remember this room at all. This is what we used to um, re rehearse and stuff at. Wow. Practice rooms. And any other thing you want to practice. I can't, be these rooms. I can't believe that the desks are still here. Well, these are, oh, you're talking about these are sewing machines. They, yeah. must, they, they, they must need the sewing. Up in this Look room. at it. They still got the baffling for the band here. The yeah. false ceiling. Yeah. They must did stuff over here lately. Well, I sure had, a, good, I sure had a lot of good years in here. Some of these things I could probably use on some of my sewing machines at the house. <laughs> so next time I come up here, when they open up again, I'm going to take some of these.